Hey folks, in this video we're going to talk about sharing features in Google Docs. So whenever you're in a Google Doc, obviously the first thing you want to do is name the file. And so I'm going to name this Amazing Google Doc. All right, now that we got that out of the way, if we want to share, we want to come up over to this right hand corner where it says share. And we're going to right now, if we hover over it, it tells us it's private only to me. That means uh, nobody else should be able to access this. Notice I said should be able to. We know that if it is online, it is not always perfect, going to be perfectly secure. But let's select share. Once we do, we get this little pop up screen. And we have a couple different options that Google gives us here. So the first is that we can add people or groups. So if we want to send an invitation to somebody, and this is typically going to be somebody with a Google account that is usually gmail.com or an institution that uses Google as its primary email client. So the institution that I'm at, Google Unbound, uh, College Unbound, uses Google as its email client. So I have access to the suite. I also have, as you can see here, this is my email account. I can do and set, use most of the Google products with my uh, College Unbound account. So if I want to add somebody else so that this is just private between me and that person, I can always add them there. And one of the things that it's going to do is it's going to, when you click into that area, if you use this regularly, it will show who are the people that you regularly share with. Those will pop up at, front, uh, at the beginning. Uh, but if, I, if I'm looking for somebody else and I start to pop, type their name, if I have other contacts within Moodle, uh, sorry, within Google, it will also show their name. And I can just select them and add them. So that's if I want to just directly share it with one other person. But there may be circumstances where I want to share it with uh, with a larger audience. So right down here where it says general access, again, it defaults to restricted and it tells you what that means. Only people with access can open the link. If I click on that, I will have three different options. I will have restricted, College Unbound, which is the the institution that I this account is connected to. And so this would mean anybody else with a College Unbound account, if I selected this, could access it if they found the link or if they, they searched, right? So that's a nice feature uh, for them to, for, for you to be able to share within organizational materials. And then anyone with the link. Now I wanna emphasize here, it's anyone with the link can view it. And the catch is they have to be able to uh, get a hold of that link. And that's not always going to be easy to do because if you don't share the link, it's much harder for them to find it. But there can be lots of good reasons why you might want to share the link with anyone. Uh, it can sometimes be challenging if a person does not have a Google account to access your material. So that's one good reason why I will often use anyone with the link because that way they don't have, they don't have to be able to have a Google account in order to use it. Um, notice over here you also have several other features. So it, it defaults to viewer, but we got that little triangle that tells you oh, there's a there's a menu here, and it gives us three other or it gives us three options. This is their role. So anyone can access it, but what can they do? Well, it defaults to viewer, which means they can only view it. You can also select comment. So now again, this updates and says anyone on the internet with the link can comment or editor, anyone with the link can edit. Now this can seem a little scary, 100%. Anybody with the link can do whatever they want with this. Uh, one thing that is useful is you as the owner, which you're, you're shown as the owner here, will always be able to um, change this if you find, oh, somebody's abusing it. What's also really cool, I'm gonna hit done here, is one of the great, nice features here is up in the file menu, there is a version history. So what's great about the version history is just that you can actually go back and see version history. And obviously we just made this document so we won't see a lot, but it will give you literally change by change listing of all the previous things that have been done with this Google Docs. So if for some reason somebody does come in and deletes everything, everything is not lost. You can actually go back into the version history and restore it. 
So those are the share options. Again, it's going to depend on what the purpose is and, you know, for what you intend to use it for in terms of whether you share it with an individual person or if you decide to share it with a larger general audience. If you decide to share it with a larger general audience, all you have to do is once you have your settings here, all, once you figure all of this out, you're just going to select copy link. And what that's going to do is it's going to put it on your what's called a clipboard. This is a something on the back of your computer that is going to hold that information until you need to paste it. And all you have to do to paste it is uh, you can sometimes right click and select paste. You can also, if you are on a PC, hit Control and V, and that is the link that you would be sharing, or that you might be sending out, or you know, giving to wherever you might need to give it to. Uh, and so notice this is a long complicated link. Uh, so this is why sometimes when you are allowing the, you know, anyone with the link to access it, it doesn't feel as worrisome because um, though, to try to figure out that, that address on one's own, it's a really hard thing to do. So that's sharing. I hope this is helpful. I hope this makes sense. And of course, if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you so much.